Hey, Dick, what are you planning to do this coming winter? I don't know for sure, really. You know, there are so many good places to ski. Maybe I'll just go on patrol at Jackson Hole again. What about you? Uh, looks like Sun Valley again. This will be my fifth year of instructing. Hey, you know what? I'm going to plan a trip to Montana in February. What's happening in Montana? Do you know Jim Rice? Jim Rice. No, I don't think so. Well, he's doing the ski film on Montana. Well, Head Ski, K2, and White Stag are sending some people up there to ski for him. Well, I'm going to go with some guys from K2. Mm, that sounds good, but isn't that a long way from Sun Valley? No, not really. Montana's just a little farther north. This is Red Lodge. This is all right. Those runs look really nice. Yeah, and the snow looks good, too. Hey, if uh, the sun's out in the morning, let's start filming first thing, OK? Thanks a lot, you guys. That was really neat. I think we got some good footage today. Hey, good. We really had a great time. Uh, where are you going from here? Well, we've got some shooting to do over at the Snowball mm -hmm. in Missoula. Oh, good. All right. Good. Okay, see you later, huh? Okay. Bye. Bye. Thanks a lot. Bye.
around for a while, Mike? No, I'd like to stay, but, but I gotta go. Where do you go from here? I'm gonna go up to Big Mountain near Whitefish. Oh, yeah? What's there? Well, I don't really know. I've never been up there. You wanna come? Sure. Hey, Mike, is that it? Yeah, that's gotta be it. Wow, what a great looking mountain. Something that snowed like this all night and Ed and Scott showed up in the morning. Hey, those guys are really all right. Who are they? They ski for White Stag. Oh, really? That's Ed Ferguson in the Blue Parka. Scott Brooksbank in yellow, and, and that's Mike Lund in the red.
Where to today? Doesn't matter. Kings Hill, Discovery Basin, Bridger Bowl. Let's try Bridger for a couple of hours. Okay, I'd like to. Ready to go? Wait, let's watch some of these kids that Pierre's been coaching. I hear they're really hot. Guys, getting off here? Yeah, yeah. Right. Mrs. Bozeman. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, what are you going to be doing? <laughs> We're going to Big Sky Country. <laughs> really? Oh. Yeah. Well, is Big Sky Country very far from Bozeman? No, it's about 40 miles south on the Gallatin River. 40 miles. Yeah. 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 Do some skiing? Yeah, I hope we get into some powder. Right. Well, we have to do some filming too. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. That's what the state of Montana. Is it going to oh, be on television? Right? Who do you guys ski for? The head ski company. Have you guys noticed how many people are into cross-country skiing? Let's go out and try it tomorrow morning before we go up to Long Mountain, okay? Okay. All right. All right. All right.
Yeah, I think country like this, mountain country, has a, has a therapeutic value. Uh, possibly what happens to us is you come into mountain country and you notice the wildlife, the flora, the fauna, the vegetation, the incredible scenery. And you realize that uh, nature, or the good Lord, uh, did some marvelous things, created some, uh, some great beauty. And possibly the human being says, well, I'm going to try to emulate that, see what I can do. And uh, I think after a few hours or a few days in countries such as this, you, you tend to go away as somewhat improved human being. Wow, there's Lone Mountain. That is a big mountain. Wow, Rice, what a beautiful day. Yeah, I've been waiting all week for a day like today. Bright sunshine and powder snow. Man, I hope I can turn in that stuff. So do I. McCoy, can you turn those things both ways? Just left and right. has a peculiar therapeutic uh, value to it. There's no question about it. I just think a few hours or a few days out in this country um, makes you a somewhat better human being by the time you go back. Oh, wow. 